All right, what's going on, guys? Reading Simp Comments, episode number five. This series is going pretty well. I'm happy to make it to episode number five. We'll see how long YouTube allows the word simp to be used. You know, they might follow in the footsteps of Twitch. I would not be surprised, but it's been about a week since I last uploaded. There's just been so much crazy stuff going on in the world. You know, 2020 is by far the craziest year that I've ever been alive for, and, and I'm pretty old. So I've seen some stuff and, you know, we're only about halfway through, but I can confidently say, you know, this year has been like no other year that I've ever experienced. So who knows what's uh, coming up in the second half. Anyways, though, let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all know the drill. So let me set this first one up real quick. So this was a thread on Reddit and it was a post of some leaked OnlyFans content. And I guess one of the girls like very loyal supporters came across this post on Reddit and was a bit confused on how all of it went down. So let's go ahead and take a look. WTF, how do you have this? She sent this to only me via DM. That's how you know she got him, all right? He thought he was special. He thought he was the only one to get that picture, man. That was your first mistake, sir. You hate to see that right there, man. Don't be that naive. This was a mass DM sent to all her followers. Did she specifically say this pic was only sent to you? So this guy kind of breaks the news to him that basically he's been finessed. Okay, so let's see how he handles it. No, but I didn't know you could even do mass DMs. That's dumb. She should have just posted it on her page, SMH. I tipped $200 thinking it was personal. Oh man, it just gets worse and worse. So let me just clarify what just happened here in case you didn't catch that. So she sent out a mass DM to all of her followers and this dude thought he was like special and he was the only one getting the picture. So then he slid her a nice 200 as a thank you for this very special DM. Like you can't make this up, man. It just doesn't get any better than that. This is like thinking that a stripper actually likes you. You know what I mean? Like you gotta just do better man you know you just got to do better but that being said we're not done yet let's go ahead and wrap it up with this it's never personal on only fans just business for $200, you should have requested for her to show those tits at least. Okay, man, so 200 and it wasn't even nudes. I don't know what the picture was, but apparently it wasn't showing too much. This is just rock bottom. Like, you could not get any worse. Like, this is just so absolutely pathetic, man. Like, let's just recap this story real quick. I want everyone to really understand what just happened here so this guy was subbed to some girls only fans okay she dm'd a picture to all of her subscribers this guy for some reason thought that she liked him or something who knows and he's like wow thank you so much for this very special picture it means so much to me he tips her 200 dollars and then later on, he goes on Reddit, he finds the exact same picture that he was sent, he was very confused, wow, how did you guys get this picture? Turns out, she sent the same pic to a hundred other of her subscribers, and then it got leaked on Reddit for free, and the worst part, it wasn't even nudes! Let's just move on, okay? I, I don't even need to add anything else. Let, let's go on to number two. So it says, if a COVID-19 wore pants, would he wear them like this or like this? And it has like two pictures or whatever, who cares, not important. But then you see the top comment on it and it says, I can agree it's a he because men are toxic. Wow, you know what? That's a good one right there, bro. I see what you did there, you know what? I bet that you got all the ladies' attention with that one, man. They felt that, okay, shit, you know what? Save some pussy for the rest of us, bro. Like, you gotta share, bro. You just, you hogging it all with comments like that. I know, I know those DMs going crazy after that one, man. Like, I, I don't know what's up with these, like, what's the word for it? Like, self-hating men? Like, I promise you, man, this ain't gonna help you in your quest to get some ass, man. You just look sad, honestly. And if you really feel that way, which I don't I don't know if they really feel this way or they're just saying that, hoping that it somehow, you know, puts them in a positive light in front of the ladies or whatever, who knows? But I mean, it is 2020, so you could just switch genders if you just hate being a man that much, you know what I mean? It's pretty easy these days, you know? You, you can really be anything you want. So I just wanted to throw that suggestion out there, but you know, just for the future, please, 
Do not write comments like that, man. I promise you, it's not helping yourself. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. Men are so lucky they can eat whatever they want without worrying. Just another example of the patriarchy at work. So, apparently, there are just no fat dudes in the world, I guess. Like, come on, man. Like, make it at least make sense. Like, this just doesn't even make sense at all. Like, look around, right? Now, keep in mind how stupid this tweet is, right? Like, it makes absolutely zero sense, no logic. But despite a tweet like this, she is still able to get a response like this one. Facts, like, straight up, as a guy, I have inherent privileges and I fucking hate it especially when so many peeps around me have it bad just cuz they weren't born with a dick and then some nice hashtags on the end of that one I hope this is sarcasm but I don't think so because he censored himself he used the word inherent like I think he really might just be a cuck I really have an issue with the censorship in the tweet when you're gonna just, you know, spell it out all the way in the hashtags. Like, that just doesn't even make any sense. Like, I guess he really thought this was the move. Like, this was gonna make it on trending or something. So, you know, you had to make sure the hashtag game was on point. But if you're ever wondering how you could even see tweets like the original one here, right? It's because of responses like this that are reinforcing these ridiculous beliefs and you know it's just a cycle just they just be tweeting nonsense and then you got weirdos like this backing it up and it just keeps getting stronger and stronger you know but like i said earlier you know if you hate men so much you could switch things up all right it's an option these days you'd probably actually have more respect if you just did that instead of like typing this nonsense out and like thinking that it's accurate or whatever whatever this is i don't know but there are definitely better options so let's move on to our last one. Now, I don't know what the original tweet was, but this thread really just says it all. Everything you need to know. So the first one says, the men should be thankful they're getting anything at all. Hashtag I'm with her. Now keep in mind, that's a man who tweeted that. So then this guy responds with, get a load of this simp, like a little meme picture, right? And now this guy busts out the typewriter for this essay, okay? He says, if caring about women's rights and recognizing the simple reality that it's men who are responsible for most of the world's problems, then sure, buddy, whatever you say. Wow, that was so deep, man. Wow, I, I really felt that one, okay? And now this guy comes in with the KO. This is a completely different person, but he saw this exchange and he came in with a nice KO that really sums up the situation well. He said, this man friend zoned so hard, he probably gets sent nudes to see if they are good enough for other dudes. Now, I was thinking about that. First of all, does that really happen? Maybe if, like, it was, like, a gay dude or something, like, a gay best friend, he might get sent some nudes. I don't know. But I was thinking about it, like, you know what? That might not be the worst place to be in. You know, that's that's not a bad position now that I think about it. I mean, shit, you still getting them at the end of the day. That's a dub, you know? I mean, especially in, like, a situation, let's say, like, uh, like a girl already has a boyfriend or something, right? And she's like, you know what? Let me send my, my gay best friend these nudes dudes first real quick before I send them to my mans make sure they're good you know what I mean then you get them and you're like yeah you know what these aren't your best work you know if you could just rotate about 45 degrees you know maybe bend over a little bit you know what I mean you get a different filter on you know you could you keep sending her some suggestions she keeps firing them back next thing you know you got 20 picks hey that's not the worst thing bro I'm, I'm gonna keep it real that's not bad you know what this guy might be onto something so you know what maybe I need to be going on Twitter and typing out some stupid ass shit like this you know if, if that's what it takes that's what it takes you know shit I might have to get the job done so anyways I don't even need to say anything else about this guy's comment that was just absolutely ridiculous so anyways that's pretty much it for the video as always if you guys see anything out there that you think would qualify for this series or any other series that I do just uh, send it to me on Twitter if I like it I'll use it in a video other than that thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like rating if you enjoyed subscribe if you are not already follow me on Twitter Links in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day and peace out.